parents. We're glad to get to spend some time with your kids again this week. We know your child asks for help with everything, and this week we want to remind them that God is always there to help them. Today, Mrs. Amy will share a lesson from the story of Daniel and our memory verse found in Psalms 121 too. My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. She'll also tell us about our weekly challenge to ask God for help. We are grateful to spend time with your kids today and we're so excited to get started. Hi boys and girls. Do you have your Bibles with you? Go ahead and get them. Now I have a big question for you. Have you ever needed help? I know I have. You might need help, you know, like finding your shoes or making breakfast or maybe you needed help reading or dealing with your feelings. Whatever you need help with, whether it's a question you have or maybe if you're sad, God loves you more than anyone on the planet and most of all, he wants to help you. So let's look at our memory verse found in Psalm 121 verse 2. It says, my help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. Since he literally made everything, heaven and earth, everything in between, including you and me, I know he can help. And that's amazing. Do you go to God for help for everything? Do you think sometimes that you forget to ask him? I remember one time when I was your age, I was at school and I wasn't feeling well at all. So my teacher sent me down to the office so I could go home. And the office lady called my parents, but no one answered. And then she asked me who she could call to help me. Boys and girls, I had no idea who else could help me. I was like, who could help me? And I forgot. And you know what's crazy? I had someone who could help me. And you know who they were? My grandparents, because they had just moved from Florida back to Ohio, and they were right down the street. And I totally forgot. I forgot who I could call for help. And I knew they loved me, and I knew they'd be there right away. But since I forgot that they were there to help, I sat in that office the rest of the day. I never want to forget what the Bible tells us, that our help comes from God. So let's put our memory verse in our hearts by saying it together. Psalm 121, verse 2. My help comes from the Lord, who made heaven and earth. God loves to help us with both the big things and the small things. And a great example of this is the story of Daniel in the Bible. Now, Daniel knew to call on God for help. So let's watch a video, and we're going to learn about Daniel's story. Let's meet Daniel who worked for the Babylonian king. Daniel loved God and he tried to do the right thing. Daniel was a good man and he made the kings glad. But this made the other court officials jealous and mad. Daniel prayed to God three times a day. So the officials thought we'll get him this way. They went to the king, told him to make a decree. It would say no. Just caught him and threw him in the lion's den This made the king sad and hoped that God would rescue him But the law said to seal the den with Daniel trapped in That's pretty amazing, right? Daniel knew to ask God for help, and he would never forget that God helped him that night. There are some things that you never forget, like riding a bike. 
once you had help learning how to ride a bike, you'll never forget how to ride a bike. Do some of you ride bikes? As a kid, I rode mine all the time, everywhere. But I can remember when I didn't even know how to. I didn't know how to pedal. I didn't know how to steer very well. But with help, I did learn. It would sure would look silly if I went through life and never asked for help. Can you imagine that? It might look something like this. That looks silly, didn't it, boys and girls? Wouldn't it have been better if Rich had asked for help when riding his bike? He crashed that bike and no one was there to help him. And you can feel really alone when no one's there to help you, especially if you're hurting. You know, the devil wants you to think that you're helpless, laying there with no help at all. But that's a lie. The Bible says that God is our very present help in time of trouble. And it doesn't matter what it looks like or if we can see him helping us, it doesn't matter. Because when we ask for his help, he says he will do it. Just like the Bible says in Psalms 46.1, God is our refuge and strength and always ready to help in times of trouble. He's a very present help in times of need and trouble. He's real and we can call on him, boys and girls, anytime that we need help, help. And we can boldly say, my help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. So going to God for help becomes as easy as riding your bike. Because once you learn to ask God for help, things will get easier. Just like when you learn to ride a bike. Now, if you have someone there to help you, that's what God is. He's there to help you. So let's see if it's easier to ride a bike when you do have help. Once you go to God for help, never stop asking him for help. Psalm 121 talks all about how God helps us. So let me read it to you guys. I look up to the mountains. Does my help come from there? My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. He will not let you stumble. And the one who watches over you will not slumber. Indeed, he watches over Israel, never slumbers or sleeps. The Lord himself watches over you. The Lord stands beside you as your protective shade, and the sun will not harm you by day nor the moon at night. The Lord helps keep you from all harm and watches over your life. The Lord keeps watch over you as you come and go, both now and forever. If you want to ask God to be your help in time of need, let's pray this together. Father God, I believe you are my helper. I believe and trust that you love me. Thank you for sending Jesus. Thank you for being my help in Jesus' name. Boys and girls, if that was the first time praying that prayer, make sure to tell someone at home the decision you made to accept Jesus. And before we go, I want to give you this week's challenge. This week, I want you to ask God for help, whether it's big or small. God wants to help you no matter what. So let's ask God for help with everything we need. And now before we go, let's go and thank God through our praise and worship for everything and for always helping us whenever we need it. Well, hey, everybody, thank you for joining us today. Why don't you stand up on your feet? Let's get ready to sing together. I have some friends that are gonna help us out. So let's have some fun, let's sing together, hey. Come on. Arise, my soul, remember this, that he took my sin and he buried it. No longer I who live, now Jesus lives in me.
praise for your glory. Oh, all of this for your glory. Come on, we sing. And all, all of this for your glory. Oh, all of this for your glory. guys, well, let's get into an attitude of worship in this moment. If you would lift your hands and close your eyes, we're going to sing to our God. We're going to thank him for his love today. Oh, we worship you, Lord. For I spoke a word, you were singing over me. You have been so, so good to me. For I took a breath, you breathed your life in me. You have been so, so kind to me.
mountain you won't climb up coming after me there's no wall you won't kick down lie you won't tear down coming after me there's no shadow you won't light up mountain you won't climb up coming after me there's no wall you won't kick down lie you won't tear down deserve it still you give yourself away oh the overwhelming never ending reckless love of God thank you Father thank you for your grace thank you for your mercy we thank you for your love and your sweet sweet presence we can worship you today. We worship you and we praise you. In Jesus' name, amen. Parents, we hope your child had fun learning today about how important it is to ask God for help. This week, have them practice the weekly challenge to ask God for help and their Bible memory verse found in Psalms 121-2. My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. We know your kids can ask God for help and this verse encourages them to do so. Visit our Facebook and Instagram or info.myfaithfamily.com to find resources to help your child keep learning all week long. We hope you have a great week and we can't wait to see you all next time.